This is a typical view of Crab Creek through Youngstown. The creek is bedlined with concrete and adjacent to railroad tracks and industry. But as of tonight, there's now a plan to renovate what's now being called the Crab Creek Corridor. Crab Creek is the dividing line between Youngstown's east and north sides. The corridor runs from behind Penguin City Brewery downtown north to Hubbard Road. On the left of the red line is Andrews Avenue. On the right is Albert Street. Renovating the Crab Creek Corridor. It's our top story tonight at 10. Around 75 people met tonight at Youngstown's Eastside Library to hear about plans to redevelop the Crab Creek Corridor. I don't know that there was ever really a sense that there was a Crab Creek District, but there is now. Planning consultants Jeff Homans and Hunter Morrison led the presentation. They suggested creation of a green buffer zone between the industrial and residential areas and the regreening of Crab Creek, eliminating its concrete channel and restoring its natural flow. And we see an opportunity sort of behind some of the buildings for a bikeway connection, for a stream connection. Uh, the rail line is still very active, but it's on one side of the creek. There may be some opportunities on the other side. One of the most drastic suggestions was the downgrading of the Madison Avenue Expressway. It's not as heavily used as a, as a freeway would be. It can possibly be converted to a boulevard brought up to the grade and creating additional land for, for development. Other changes, eliminating the hump at the Hubbard Road Railroad Crossing, simplifying the triangle intersection at Albert and Bell Streets and Hubbard Road, where Andrews, Logan and Wick intersect, push truck traffic toward Andrews and away from Wick, and redo the area around Penguin City Brewery and Youngstown Flea. Reconfigure this while protecting the interests of the existing bu industrial businesses and making it much, more, much easier to say, go if you're walking from the Flea to, to Penguin Brewery. Among the properties prioritized for redevelopment are the former sites of General Fireproofing, YBM, Coppers, Republic Rubber, and the McGuffey Mall, all of which can be used for future industrial use. Not necessarily the kind of relatively dirty industry that, that existed, you know, 50 to 100 years ago, but greener industries that are more consistent with the kind of development that we're seeing. Also presented were the various agencies, most of them government-related, where grants would be available. No timetable was given on any of the various parts of the project, but redoing the Madison Avenue Expressway, for example, was 10 to 15 years. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.